Hey, uh, I'm gonna show you a showcase of my uh, my back end system. This is the first video I make, so bear with me. I'm figuring this out as I go. Okay, first of all, we want to open it up. Already have part of the system up. Let me show you. Okay, this is this is how I set up my application. I have uh, I actually have two applications, a front end and a back end. Front end is what you see right now, and the back end is obviously the back end. Whenever you try to access it, it sees that you're not logged in, it asks you to log in. So I already saved. I press log in. It says logged in. Okay. Now this is kind of cool. User uh, access level. I set up the, uh, the access level for applications higher than it is for Portal. So when I click on application. It doesn't let me go. Ask me for a login. Okay, so portal, public items, application projects, and contact. Okay, so let's say we want to add a new one. We go. First of all, we go open up the IM. We go here. Let's go to site, and then we want to go to the back end. Um, we want to first of all we want to open up the header. Because we want to add a new one, so let's call it um, foo. Okay. Let's see here, we got foo. Obviously, there's nothing there, so let's, let's fix that. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to use a lot of templates that I've already made for other controllers, so you're just going to see me copy pasting a lot of stuff, so. Okay, let's open up uh, portal. Open up a new split. Call it foo.php. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste it here. So we're going to change the name of the class. Okay, so we're going to keep these wrappers the same. Okay, config. Okay, here's the configuration part of the back end. So we're going to go through this, change all the ones. Okay. To our form definition is the file which sets up our form when we're adding or editing. So we're called it full form that YAML. You see, it uses the YAML, um, it's a YML file. So I'll, sh I'll talk about that when we get to it. Our controller is called who We're going to use this when we're redirecting um, our messages. We'll keep them as they are. Let's say uh, we want to have a form upload. So we're going to have to set up an upload directory. We'll call it foo images. And then we have to tell the system which uh, which database fields are associated with fields. So let's call it image. Okay. And here for our index, we want to display the manager. So select ID title from um, foo. And we'll need this item. Okay. So messages. Okay. And then we we'll call this foo view. All right, we're done with this part of the setup. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our form. So let's go here. I created a file, a folder called definitions. I'm gonna open the photo form, and then open it here and call it creating new file called um, foo-form.yml. Okay, copy all this paste it here. We're going to have title, entry, and image. Okay, we'll keep it the same as the portal just for uh, just for explanation. Okay. As you see, this is the setup. Title, entry, and image are all database fields. This relates to the database, like directly. We have <coughs> Our title is a text box, so we instantiate a text box. We give it a label, title. Usually this is just a capitalized form of the name. We can give it any attributes we want, and we can give it an initial value. For example, here we have a text area, and we gave it uh, col 45 columns and rows. These will go inside the text area attribute in HTML. And then here, this is pretty amazing, we have a file. This is an image uploader, and it works built in. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is, like we saw in the controller, you have to tell it that this image is, uh, is a file associated field, and give it an upload directory. Okay, so we're done with this. Now, let's go and create the database.
Okay, I think I'm in. I'm gonna go into portal. Create a new name for the We have an ID, we have a title, and that's four. Okay. Give it ID and give it title. Our card will give it 100, whatever. I'm not really worried about this right now. We have description. Let's call it more text. We have um, image. Let's give it 200, whatever. Okay, now I want to create this as a primary index and auto increment it. Okay. And save it. Okay, now we have our database. Next thing we have to do is create our view. We go to the bottom, view, and um, I want to create a copy of the portal view. Okay. We'll call it foolview.php. Okay, copy all this, paste it. We're gonna change this to foo. We're gonna change this to foo add. Add a new entry. This is uh, get the add and uh, the add method. Add a new item, obviously. Okay, so we we'll change these to items. This is the list, and we're just gonna keep this entry just for just to show you. Okay, we're gonna change this portal. This is the the method that gets called when you're deleting. For image, we have ID, and then image. Okay, this is just keep it the same way it is. This just shows you the icon to delete. And then I'm gonna change this to foo. I'm gonna change this title. Okay, we'll keep the same title. But you'll see uh, what this means in a second. So we save. And I believe we're done. Oh, okay. We're supposed to create a new uh, new folder for the upload. I can't remember what we called it. Let's call it full upload. And then we're supposed to set up set the permissions on this. So let's go to the upload. Okay. Here I'm just setting the permissions on this thing. Um, it's to upload. Okay, hold on. Now, um, let me just make sure I have the right name. Foo.php. Foo images. Foo. Upload. I really have short term memory loss. Full uploads, okay. Okay, we'll go. Now let's give it a try. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna refresh. Now, as you see, I got it says full here, just like it says public items, blog, and contact project. I got full. I'm gonna create a new entry, so I'm gonna click on this. You see, it generated our form for us. We have the image in here, we got the text area, we got the field here, okay. Let's give it a title, and this is. And Entry. Okay. Now let's choose an image. I'm just gonna choose um, just whatever. Just, uh, doesn't really matter. Okay. Apple terminal icon. Now just to show you, I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna open this with full uploads here. Now as I click submit, keep your eye over here just to see if it uploaded. I'm gonna press submit. You see Apple terminal icon is over there. Here it tells us the message was added successfully and the file was uploaded correctly. And this is the title. We can create a new one without specifying it, specifying an image. It's fine, no problem. Now to edit, we can click on the name and let's give it a two just to make sure it changes it. Item was edited successfully, and there's a two. Now if you just press submit, it tells you there's no change or update the record with. Okay. Now to delete, just click this and it's gone. So record deleted successfully. Now if you go back here and you look. We still have this title. If we let me drag this off to the side again. Now notice when I delete this item here, the file is done with it. So